Okay, so now uh, we have, so far we have discussed how we can compute these cosine scores on the index and then how we can ex choose the top k among them. Any questions about this? What we are now going to do is think of ways of speeding this up. Okay, and in particular, we are going to try to speed up this computation of these cosine scores between the query and the documents. And uh, the kind of thing that we're going to do is analogous to, um, you remember those two terms, lossless compression and lossy compression, how in lossy compression, you can get much better compression ratios, uh, but you will have some loss of information. Right. In a similar way, we can think of using uh, we can think of using heuristics that won't necessarily give us the exact top k scores, but will give us scores that are relatively close to the top k. Okay, so we are going to try to s speed up this computation, allowing for some errors. Okay, and what do I mean by an error? A document that is not strictly speaking in the top k may creep into the list of uh, may creep into the list of k items that are output by this optimization or, or this speed up uh, procedure. Now the question is is that a bad thing? Is it a bad thing to have such um, errors? And the answer is no because if you think about what the cosine scores mean, they are actually a proxy for relevance. Okay, we are saying that higher cosine scores between a query and a document makes the document more relevant to the query. Okay, but again, you know, we've made some assumptions here. We've, we, we use this bag of words model where we are measuring this distance, treating the query and the document as a bag of words. And then we are saying that if the cosine score between the two is highest, then this document is most relevant. But actually, I mean, it may or may not be relevant. Okay, there's a good chance that it may be relevant to the users, uh, to, to the information need of the user. But we can't guarantee that. Okay, it's possible that um, a mathematically optimal cosine score may not actually end up being actually relevant to the user. Okay, because this is just a proxy. Okay, this is just a way to quantify relevance. This is, this is not necessarily exactly what the user had in mind. Okay, so we can allow for documents that are not exactly in the top k uh, by in terms of score, but somewhere close to the top k to enter the k uh, results that we are going to generate. Okay, we can tolerate that because after all, we are just saying that you know, small changes in the cosine score does not have to map to changes in the relevance of the document to the user's information need. Okay, is this clear? So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a series of techniques, a series of heuristics that will do the following. Okay, and, and this series is going to be, you know, one technique after another. And this is kind of like the tokenization lecture, you know, where you have, where I raised one issue after another and I said that you can use, you can combine these techniques in any combination you want. Okay, in a similar way, we're going to look at a series of techniques and you can combine one or more of them in, uh, uh, you know, depending on what sort of system you want to build. But What's going to be remain common in all of them is we are going to take this list of n, I mean this this set of n documents, which is the you know total number of documents in the corpus, and we are going to select a documents among them, which are going to be good candidates. That is, we are going to prune away those documents that we know have a very low score with respect to the query. Okay, either they have a score of zero or they have a low score which does not merit 
choosing them in this set A. Okay, and this set A is going to be smaller than J. Okay, it's not just going to be smaller than N, it's also going to be smaller than J. Okay, J was the um, J was the dog because I mean think about a real search engine, right? Even if J is a million, no user is going to look at a million documents when uh, you know the user is just going to look at the first few pages, maybe thirty or forty uh, documents that are ranked the highest. Okay, so we can we can choose a relatively small number of them and then choose the best k among this relatively small number pruning away all the rest okay so this set a does not contain necessarily the top k but it has many documents from among the top k it's very likely that all the top k all the actual top k documents among those j are all present in a that's likely but not guaranteed okay, so if we choose the top k among a we are likely to get the top k absolutely okay in the across all the j documents okay and the set a can be thought of as pruning pruning away the documents which have a score of 0 or a very low score okay and by the way this uh, this applies even if the scoring scheme between the query and the document had been something other than cosine scoring so let's look at these techniques one after another